everybody, this is Praxis, and we're back on site again today. It's been a very rainy week. Uh, tomorrow, uh, as I'm recording this, is actually Halloween. It's supposed to pour all day, and isn't everyone going to be excited about that? Uh, but for right now, today, at least the forecast says for the next 20 minutes, it's not supposed to be raining. So we've been taking advantage of that. I've been working out here on the uh, west wall, trying to get more and more foam up on there. My uh, dad is here today. He's helping out. And right now he's using a technique that I taught him. Uh, I was uh, kind of complaining about uh, how this tape measure, uh, it's hard to kind of engage the lock on here. And I was just, you know, it's just kind of, it's a brand new one. I bought it to replace another one that broke. And I was telling my dad about it, and he was all like, well, I don't even use that anyway. Is that kind of how you sounded? Yeah, exactly. It was something along those lines. Like, well, I don't, why would you even want to use that? Um, so I, <laughs> um, so I, I told him, well, the, the time when I do the lock is for marking these foam panels. And apparently this is uh, something that uh, I think the word you described was ingenious. Uh, to describe, maybe, we'll, we'll go with that. I think, be, slightly beneficially, might have said. But it's a useful technique. I've been using it a lot, and it saves a lot of time in measuring and marking and everything. So I'll, oftentimes when I want to mark up one of these uh, sheets of foam and I want to cut it like in a certain shape, I'll, I'll set this to a certain size, and at the moment I want to cut three inches off of the side of this. What I really want to do is I want to cut 45 inches off, but it's easier to reach across for three inches. So I'll just set it to this... Uh, you know, three inches, rest the uh, tape measure up here, and just kind of push the, uh, the little, um, you know, metal blade at the end of it just slightly into the foam, uh, just enough to make a little bit of a mark. And I'll just do it on this side. And it, whoops, it slipped a little bit, but I can just do it again. There we go. What I used to do is I would uh, I'd take this and I'd kind of put it here and I'd, I'd puncture it in a little bit and I'd go here and puncture it in a little bit. Then I'd take a straight edge and usually the back of the saw and make a mark. But then, you know, at some point, I don't remember when it was, I just realized, well, you can just take it and kind of drag it. It just saves a lot of time and I just wanted to share that with you guys. So the rest of the day today is just more foam, more foam, more foam. Trying to actually start the roof. My dad has been doing roof stuff today. Uh, you know, there are still things going on down in the basement. And tomorrow, when it, you know it's not trick or treating time, we're probably going to be down in the basement. You know, putting in all those uh, you know uh, you know air air passages and everything. Because that's uh, it's. Oh, I thought it was snowing. It was your uh, the 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 foam bits. I'm like, is it snowing? It, you, it was very minor. You couldn't even see it, but. All these little dust particles run by. Um, it's not cold enough for snow with t-shirt weather today. So anyway, that's what we'll probably be doing tomorrow uh, while it's pouring out here because you know, we just won't be able to do this outside work. That's it. Thanks for watching.